Hey guys, I'm Lugina and welcome to Tread Sheet. I'm so happy to have you here for another treadmill workout. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing something a little special. We're doing the 12-3-30 tread workout by Lauren Geraldo. She is a social media influencer and this was a very popular workout that she came out with. Many of you know that with my workouts I like to do different types of incline but this is more of a steady state incline. So we're going to be at incline 12 at speed 3 for 30 minutes. I'll explain all about this as you work out. So before we get started, I want to remind you to have your water and a towel for any sweat, all right? And let's go, starting at incline one, let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna warm up first because, and you can go straight into the workout. You can see the little tab where you can just go straight into the 30 minutes. But it's important before you do this workout, I just wanna have you build healthier habits with this to warm up for five minutes, especially if you're not someone that works out often, if you're just getting started. And this is a great low intensity type of workout, but again, you're going to be at an incline of 12. If you're not typically, if you don't typically use incline, this might be something that's just a little, little different for you. You don't wanna cause injury or anything like that. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this the right way and slowly building. With that said, as you know, like I said, this is 12, 3, 30 at incline 12. If your treadmill doesn't go to incline 12, go to the highest that your um, treadmill can go to, okay? Next, again, with the speed of three, I am short. Lauren is also, I think she's five, but she's five one, I'm five one. So depending on what your height is, you may need to go a little higher than 3.0 to actually get something out of this workout. For me, three is pretty, at the incline is pretty, um, is a good speed. I can use, I'll feel the workout. But you wanna make sure that you are justice for your fitness level. If you'd like to be a three, that's fantastic, but just letting you know that it all depends on your height as well because someone may be get a better workout at, uh, at a speed of 3.5, okay? So I just wanna make sure you, you, you um, think about that as well. And then we'll be here for 30 minutes. Now, what I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier, we're going to split this up into three sets. So 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So at the first round, you'll see clocks on the side there. We have first 10 minute timer, a second 10 minute timer, and the third minute timer, okay? So the, uh, the third 10 minute timer, okay? So that will sort of help with the time going by. Because for me, as you know, with my workouts, I like to do different things. The time goes by faster. So this way, when you're at the same incline, for the same amount of time. It may drag a bit, but nonetheless, I wanted to make sure you had this. Some of you have been asking me about this, so I will talk more about it. I will try to let the music play a little bit more as we do this, have it play a little louder, but I will talk about um, this workout bit a um, little bit. And you can also find um, more information below. When you're watching this video, you'll see the notes right below. So you can go into the description and there you can find out all sorts of information about this workout, about this drip towel. I just got a question about that as well. This is drip towel that is below. And if you'd like, to have, if you're interested in any of my merch and stuff, the information will be below as well. So there are notes below. I know some of you may not know that, but just to let you know that is below so you can get all of the info because I always put info to keep you guys um, updated on information and to help you more with the workouts that I post, okay? So, you guys, incline 12. Uh, you know, I don't like to just be on the same incline, but you know, I just want to make sure I have this workout for you guys just in case you want to try it out, but I'm going to try to make it a bit more fun, I guess, right? Or a bit easier to take. And so I'll have music playing. I'll try not to talk as much. I'll just give some tips about this workout and things you should do. And um, yes, all right. Now, I want to make sure when we are walking, you want to make sure we are not over striding, guys. It's easy to do that on an incline. If you see that on this three speed, you're like this, you can't even get coordinated. Take the speed down because you're not getting anything out of it. All right? So, heel to toe, okay? Quick, short, quick strides. We're not over striding, we're not stomping. We're not holding on. If you feel you need to hold on, I'm going to need you to take down the incline or take down the speed because you're not getting anything, you're not getting a lot out of the workout. If you're here for calorie burn, you're not gonna get that much calorie burn if you are holding on. You are negating the incline, okay? So you wanna propel yourself forward so you are climbing, okay? 
arms gonna be at 90 degrees, okay? And again, each treadmill is different. So um, I know my treadmill is not, okay, a, the, a speed of 2.3 is actually 3.0 miles per hour. So I have to sort of monitor it. I have, I have to do the calculations, I have to calibrate it to sort of figure that out. All right, so make sure you're doing a speed that works for you where you're actually working, but you're not hurting yourself, all right? So we're going to go to, we're not doing anything to injure yourself, sorry. We're going to incline 12, okay? And we're gonna start. Now, remember your height, those things, and we are starting. All right, my treadmill is almost there. All right. See, it's kind of high up there. All right. Yay! There we go. So we're gonna do this in 10 minutes. 10, 10, 10. All right. Great work, arms 90 degrees. And this is a lower intensity workout, okay? Breathe. And I wanna make sure you adjust it again to your level. You wanna make sure you have good posture. You don't wanna be like this, okay? You wanna make sure your shoulders are back. Stabilize your core. A neutral spine, okay? And if you're a beginner, again, you don't wanna just jump in, okay? Breathe. And incline is wonderful because for every 1% um, incline, um, you burn an extra 10 calories. So you're getting double when you use incline. But if you know that you're holding on, or if you're not really, um, if, you're, if you know that you're holding on to the treadmill, then you're not getting as much out of it, okay? So you wanna make sure you are doing, you're doing the work. Great job. And you're gonna be the slight incline. Well, slight lean, okay, when you're on an incline. You can feel your heart. So great for your cardiovascular endurance. So great for you. Proves your heart. So it's just when to get that cardio in. But you want to make sure that you're also strength training. This type of workout is great. Now Lauren said she lost about 30 pounds doing it. But you want to make sure that you're actually your strength training, you're being very well-rounded. Your strength training, getting your flexibility, mobility in, and getting your cardio in, the cardio in at least 150 minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep it down so you can focus, and I'm gonna check in soon. Let's go, fist bump, high five. Let's get this done. They work. And some of you may also use hand weights if you like as you get used to it. Breathe.
heel to toe, heel to toe. Doing great. Stay focused. Feel it. You're working. Again, we're not holding on unless you need to get a drink of water or something, okay? Looking great. Form check. Upright, shoulders back, upright. Arms at the degrees, looking wonderful. I see you, you're doing great. But you know, I know this is boring for me guys. You know that, right? <laughs> I like to switch things up. But we're gonna get this done. This is great for your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads as well. We are stronger with every single step. Watch those hands, light. We got it, let's go. Almost at, finish with the first set. First interval. Hydrate at any time. Let's do it! All right, one minute here and then we're going to set number two, interval number two. Next set of 10. We've got it. All right, proud of you. Form check. 
upright. tight all right next clock next 10 minutes all right great work high five fist bump we're doing it Lauren we're doing it girl but check out my other workouts okay, I think you'll you like those <laughs> if you are new to my channel Please check out many of my other workouts that vary incline, all those other things as well. We have a good time, and the time goes by fast. We change things up, we gain endurance, and um, fat loss, all the things. So check them out, okay? And if you are returning, you know how much I appreciate you for being here, for growing with me, I appreciate you so much. All right, form check. Sometimes it's easy, even with me. See, I have to consistently remind myself. This is a higher incline. Can make this workout work for you. This is probably the first video where you don't hear me really talking because I want you to hear the music more. Because this is like you don't have to hear a lot of instruction from me. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Great work. This bump, we got it. We are moving. Heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. We've got it. Breathe, light hands. Form check. Core tight. We are working. Stay focused. Strong. Let me see your strong look. Let me see you. You looking good. Let's go.
Okay, work. Let's move. High, head high. We are halfway through. 15 minutes left. All right, you're doing it. So, I know that um, many of you see that it's recommended to get 150 minutes of moderate exercise in each week. And with this being 30 minutes, if you do this five days a week, that's 150 minutes. However, it's so important to incorporate a total body strength program at least twice a week. Okay, when you're working your upper body, lower body, you know, all types of squatting, lunges, deadlifts, and body resistance work, push-ups, etc. So, I have a few videos on my channel, but there are tons. Or reaching out to your physical, your personal trainer if you have one, or a friend that you ain't know. Or feel free to reach out. I can give you a list of a few. But say you have to stay consistent. That's the whole thing. Like there's no magic pill. Like people are so excited about this workout and Lauren losing 30 pounds, but you have to work. You have to be consistent. So we need to be consistent with anything that you do because anything works, right? But um, you have to be consistent and do things that you enjoy. If the treadmill is not something you enjoy, don't force yourself to do that. Do something that you enjoy so that you'll stay consistent. That's the key. Don't just do something because other people said, oh, it's great. If you wanna do it a few times, if you hate it, and you're not consistent, then it's not working for you. All right, but you are looking mighty good. Keep up the great work. High five, fist bump. We've got it. Form check. Got it. <clears throat> We're almost final, final clock, final 10 minute clock. It's almost here. <clears throat> it up like that helps don't you I think so I'm proud of us but make sure you watch your back okay And again, doing incline every day is not something you want to switch things up. Well, at least if you do it, because this is low intensity, it's okay, but make sure you're incorporating that strength training, okay? And listen to your body. Again, this is a lower intensity. 
So you're not pounding. But still listen to your body. Great job. Form check. Palm 10 degrees, light hands, heel to toe. We're not over striding. We're not stomping. We're climbing. Steady state climb. This is the first time. Well, I have a one incline one for beginners. This is the first time I've done a workout where I stay on one high incline. This is very new for me. But I want to make sure I had this workout for you guys so that you have and understand form, you know what it's about, etc. But let's definitely look it up. And guys, I just have two more videos left in this studio. <laughs> and then to Maryland we go. Illinois to Maryland. Great work. Or I'll stay quiet. Music. This bump, high five, we're doing it. Focus. Check in, how you doing? Looking good, we got it. Almost there. I'm so proud of us. 
stronger with every single step. And we're stronger together. Hydrate when you need to. I should tell you, if you need to hold on the sides lightly, so you're still propelling forward, okay? But try your best to do this work, okay? You got it, we're almost there. The console, some space. Form check. Upright, as much as possible. Lean forward with your chest. Good work. And again, you do this at an incline that works best for you and build up, okay? Got it. We have got this. Walking is such an underrated exercise. Come on, last minute. It's such a great form of exercise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. All right, and we're going to Walk down to incline one to make up for the time we spent coming up. All right. Woo! 
Yes! All right, let's hit that incline. One, head back down. We did it, let's keep going though. Let's get to the bottom. Great job. Okay, let's hydrate. So if you ever done that workout before, I have not. <laughs> Instead, but just to get ready for this video, you wanna make sure, well, if you're just doing this video for the first time, this workout, I thought it helped out to split it up into like three segments of 10. And just thinking about it like that and counting down, not from 30, but from 10. No, it's all a mind thing, right? So, sort of helps. Anything to keep it going. But I thought it was good, I liked it, but I wanna make sure that when you do this, you realize you don't wanna have back pain because for some, being on incline can cause a lot of back pain. So you wanna make sure you have that good posture because if you don't and you're like this or like this, that can cause lower back pain. So which is why a lot of people cannot be on higher inclines like this because it could cause lower back pain but you want to make sure that posture is right you want to make sure your shoulders are back you want to make sure you keep your core tight and that neutral spine okay okay or if you're over striding that can cause like shin splints i know people have complained about that so it's just your form and you want to make sure that you're listening to your body if this is something that you can do maybe two twice a week two to three times a week that's good but um and i know we're talking about consistency but it doesn't have with this being on that higher incline all the time may not always be the right thing for many people. So it's about listening to your body, but just staying consistent with your with your walking or your running or biking or whatever else that you're doing or your cycling, whatever else that you're doing, okay? So yes, but I'm proud of us. Woo, high five. Woo, woo. Fist bump, great work. Wanna make sure you stretch after this, okay? okay. All right, let's stretch out that back first. Let's come down, stretch it out. Come down low. Come up. Struggle shoulders back. Back. Let's come this way. This side. Good. Struggle shoulders back. 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 All right. Now let's that quad stretch. Should have about a mile and a half, um, right? Because three miles per hour, um, the entire hour you would have three. If you did half, um, you should have about a mile and a half. Great job. Hold that stretch. Other side. Low, 90 degrees, possible. Bounce, feel that stretch on that hip. So good, that glute side there feels good. Other side. Come down on those heels, okay? Come down. Use your elbows to push your knees apart. If you're not able to do this, you don't have to come all the way down. Feel that stretch. Comes down. Come up. 
feel that hamstrings. Lift those heels up and down, up, down, up, down. All right, come up, come up one vertebrae at a time. Shrug your shoulders back, back, and back. All right, great job. I hope that you enjoyed that 12, 3, 30. Lauren, thank you for your workout. And um, please let me know what your thoughts are below. I hope you enjoy your day. And remember, with every step that you take, to spread more love, joy, and positivity. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.